Okay, we are live. Hey, everybody, it's Greg Ryder coming at you from LaunchCart, and I've got my trusted business partner on the line with us, Lane, and we are here to go over and talk to you about some all-over print designs and how to use all-over print designs and just some of the concepts and thoughts about that because I like them. I think they give you a complete, unique, um, you know, they just give you kind of a unique, look at your your marketplace and i don't know if you had anything that you wanted to say lane before we get diving into this but uh i have a i have my screen show set up i was going to show people some of the designs in the marketplace that are all over designs and we can just give a couple examples yep i'm just getting my screen up also so i can show the one that i did because it was a little complicated <laughs> i had to uh do some uh two different uploads and it's uh some of the designs are more complicated than others in terms of what you'll have to do to make them look good. So go ahead, Greg. Okay, so here we are. So I'm sharing my screen and um, in, in I just put, made a note that I wanna to get to our developers, by the way, to, to maybe have a, a search by all over designs because they're really kind of not that easy to find to be honest with you. Uh, but I just typed in legging and this is what came up. Um, and these, these really ones are all over design patterns for leggings are really, really good. Right. So I'm just going to kind of run with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, now again, we always are doing things to give you guys design credits, being active in our group, um, uh, they're doing different things, but these do these designs, you do have to pay money for these designs. So if I was going to do, uh, I like this one over here, blue blaze, all over leggings. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in something. I want to see if, uh, and if not, you're just going to have to come up, you have to put a few dollars into your, uh, into your uh, marketplace, your design credit marketplace and see what comes up um, and see how big they are. And see, some of these images would work for all over designs, even though they're uh, not necessarily created for all over designs like this one right here stand up for your country with the flag this is a 3500 by 80 by 5500 file that's a big big file so that would work for some all over leggings on on some things so let's do a couple things so let's go let me go ahead and i'm going to buy that image purchase that one's only a dollar so that just sent that to my uh to my uh library and now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to type in legging again just to show you guys. And then I'm going to pick one of these little psychedelic skies. Uh, I think I'll yeah. just do this one right here. Yeah, those so are I, the, I love those patterns. That's what comes yeah. out looking really good. Like you can put that on a swimsuit and order a swimsuit. Right. Uh, and Remember, one of the ways to, yeah, one of the ways to tell when you're searching for products is those products always start with the words all over design. So oh, they do. Yes. Uh, all over print, like all over print all women's rice guard, all over print, one piece swimsuit, all over. See this print. one. Where, where, where does it say all over? I don't see where it says all over. Um, I'm on printful under. Oh, you're print. on printful. Yeah. Oh, printful. I'm, I'm in the design marketplace. Okay. Gotcha. So again, I, I typed in pattern and, I, and again, I'm in our design marketplace. I typed in pattern and here's where it came up with a bunch of, we have a bunch of designs that we called uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and then we have these different skies and psychedelics and then just stripes and pineapples and all kinds of stuff, right? Skulls. And look, there's just pages and pages and pages of these different patterns and skulls and bugs. And you, know, you can you can make your own. If you start with a little graphic, like our ladybug lady, if she has her ladybug, you can take the ladybug and put it on um, a, like on Canva and you're gonna tile your one little graphic. And once you tile it across your whole um, canvas, it, you'll have something just like what Greg was showing uh, with the the cute little icons. Yep. So I'm going to go to this laptop sleeve as a first as a first one real quick. I got to log into the right store. Hold on. 
I got too many stores going on here. <laughs> I had that going on earlier today, too. Yeah, the place I found some really cool all over print products is in the beachwear section of Printful, uh, which is not, you know, you can't just say I want a, a shirt or um, a hoodie. It's, uh, it's in a collection in Printful. Okay, so create new print on demand products. This laptop sleeve is an all over print in, 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 in some regards. It's not like maybe the bean bag, but I can drop my design here. There's that pattern that I just bought. Look and see how it goes over the whole thing, right? And then we go look and see what's like in the mock up view. See, now I got a whole mock up view of the laptop case with that pattern, right? And then if you wanted to, you could even add text from here uh, testing. Right, and then okay, I want white text, so we'll make that to go white. Right, so and now I can make say, text. Yeah, Greg's laptop. Yeah, whatever you want to say, or you could do your company name. You could do your, you know, whatever. You could make a cool saying of, uh, like I've got these cool sayings I'm coming out with around leadership that we could put on there and stuff like that. But again, that all over that all over print is awesome. So that's one example. Now let's go to a different example. Well, let me just do something else like you just said. So if I went to product and we're going to go to design, let me get rid of this design. Got to, uh, okay. Get rid of that design. And to do what you just said, if I go choose a file and I just hit it, 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 any of your logos, no matter what it is, let me make this smaller. Okay, see, I have an itty bitty little thing right there, right? And I could go, okay, now I want to tile it. I want to make a pattern. And I click make a pattern and I click these little things and look what it does. And then I go, okay, I want to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, you can it, space it, it. You can do like that or you can do it, you can change it and it just gives you some, some uh, you know, different things that you want to do. Reverse that way vertical uh so you can just kind of do all kinds of cool stuff and again it's not necessarily that doesn't really necessarily look too good with that but let me show if i did something like let me go choose a file yeah I'm gonna please, upload. please notice that printful was saying that that particular logo didn't have a good enough resolution and it was giving you those red banners definitely pay right. attention to that when you're creating your products yeah, very good. I'm gonna go full screen and make it easier to see because that that is that is a critical thing she just said, and we brought it up before, and we always bring it up. Now, see, your image does not meet our print requirements. Scale it down, right? So I'm gonna hit scale down, and then it says, and over here, see, it says 38 DPI. That's still not good enough. But if I shrink it down even more, now we're at 109 DPI. That's pretty good. 175 DPI is pretty good too. So now if I put that there. And now I want to make a pattern and I hit boom, make a pattern. Now we got a launch cart. Boom. We got ourselves a launch cart laptop bag. How cool is that? Right? So now you can do that with your logo. And we did that with, uh, with the ladybugs website and her little ladybug. So that's kind of cool stuff. So we wanted to make sure that you knew this. And as, as, Lane was saying a second ago, when you're in the, the choose a product, we have all over shirts, right? You have under women's. Okay. All over shirts for women's. Sweatpants, joggers, leggings. So let's go to leggings real quick. Now, see, you see here all over print yoga leggings, right? All over print leggings, all over print leggings, all over print. See, these are all over print, right? So if I were to pick these yoga leggings and I'm going to go ahead and take this, this, this psychedelic design we have here, we made your image larger for better print quality. Please upload to a larger file. So see, again, they had to expand our image size so it would go over. You need a really, really big image size for these all over print leggings. And that's still 44 DPI. 
Now, maybe with the psychedelic stars like this, it's not going to be that big of an issue because it's not meant to be, um, uh, it's not meant to be, you know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but you could probably get way away with it. But see, you really need to have something like that. I wonder if I could tile this. Well, let me tile it here. Yeah, make a pattern. Tile it. Because it's psychedelic, I don't care what it looks like. But now when I did that, um, it gave me 162 DPI. Now that's kind of cool. So now I'll go to mock-up view and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, I got to select my options. Stitch color will be black, inside pocket, without. So it's asked me, do I want a pocket inside or out? And I hit without. And now I'm going to hit mock-up view. Boom, look at that. That looks cool, huh? There you go. And again, see, these could be marketed as a one of a kind, you know, simple design, limited edition. We're only going to sell 20 of these and then we're going to take it down or we're going to, you know, whatever that is. But it is very unique what you can do there. And again, our platform is so cool for doing that. Boom, nice. Okay. So we wanted to make sure you guys knew how to do that. Did you have something that you wanted to uh, demo? Our show? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to. So I'll start sharing my screen if you'll stop sharing yours. Okay. There we go. And I'll make it full screen. And I'm going to go over here because I selected a beachwear item. Uh, well, it's in the collections. And then under beachwear, there's this sunset beach bag. And so what I did in order to create this beach bag, and you'll see, I'll preview it here. Um, it has one of my personal photographs that I took out at the Pacific Ocean um, where I uploaded it on and I put it on one side of the bag. And then I uploaded the same photo again and you have to turn it upside down. So see this preview right here? I had to rotate the photo so that the second one that's on the other side of the bag is upside down. And so if you have photos that you've, uh, that you've taken, you know, that's totally unique. Like if you have pictures of your dog that you want to put on a bag or one of their other all over print design products, um, these are really unique. So like I'm going to order this and give it to my sister-in-law for Christmas uh, because she was with me when we watched this sunset. Uh, but when you go into the printful um, area, so now I'm on the beachwear collection and you'll see there's a rash guard, bathing suits, men's shorts. And in a lot of cases, you could use just a part of a photograph that has beautiful colors in it. Um, to put on some of these all over print designs. And you'll see here's the, the beach bag that I used. And so I'm, I'm going to click on it here. And it, when it comes up and it asks you to drop your design here, I chose, you know, chose my photograph file and I put it on there. But then I added an additional uh, photograph to put on the other side. It was the same photograph, but turned upside down. And again, you can add text. So you could put, you know, happy birthday um, or an anniversary date on something like this. So somebody, it's a memento for someone to carry. This also has an inside pocket. And I actually had to upload an, a, a, the photograph again to put on the flap and the inside pocket of this bag. So it's it's pretty complex. So make certain when you're doing these all over print designs that you're making certain that it's completely covered with whatever design you pick. Uh, but it is really interesting that you can add a file, a graphics file or a photo. You can add text and you can add clip art. Now, of course, premium images are their uh, images where I think you have to pay additional to use their images, uh, but you have access to our design library just within LaunchCart. So that also gives you access to a whole different library of designs. 
Yeah, very cool. Now, I love that idea of that picture. And, you know, um, we are going to be working on something to where allow customers to upload pictures as well. But the other thing, too, is, you know, if you had a little side hustle where on your Facebook, you would make a, a sample of a, of a product you built like that with one of your photos and maybe a family photo, mom, grandma, uncle, dad, your dogs, whatever. And you said, hey, Chance, give me a good photo of yours and I'll make you this bag of your dog. And um and then sell it to you and you kind of have a premium price for that because you have to create the product just for them, but you'll make some sales doing that. Um, and then the other thing too, if you use dogs that all look the same, like most golden retrievers look the same. A lot of the chihuahuas look the same. There's a lot of dogs that have the same markings and the same colors that black Labradors, they all black Labradors look the same. So I have a black Labrador nut. I could do some all over prints with some black Labrador stuff as well. Hey, I wanted this. So check this out. So Jose said it would be awesome if creators and artists could add their own designs and sell them on the platform. Well, guess what? You can. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. And I'm going to go over here to the design marketplace. And it's 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 been developed. We can now track sales and revenue share. Uh, but we have a few other things I want to do. But do you see right here on the left where it says artist? And you can see Lane even was testing it. Did you upload any graphics? Oh, you haven't uploaded any graphics yet. I, I didn't yet, but I have some to upload. So uh, I didn't upload any either. So you can see when you click on launch admin, that's all of our graphics have been put up by the launch admin. But anyway, so what's going to happen is is you're going to apply to sell your graphics with us. And the, the, really the only thing I don't have is an agreement. I need to have a, like a, the, the lawyers or somebody create like a little agreement. So we have a written agreement and then <clears throat> we have to get a better, maybe agreement on the licensing of these images. But the idea is you could like, we'll check a little box in our back office and now in your back office, well, in mine, it already shows up. Let's see. See right here, it says manage artwork. See on the, on the top right, it says manage artwork. So if you become an approved graphic designer for us, we check a little box and then the manage artwork comes up and then you get to add your, your, your images here. You put the title of the image, the price of the image. Uh, is it all over? Is it embroidered? Is it digital print? Uh, and you upload the file name, hit add image, and boom, it shows up. And then you can put here, the design looks best on you know, men's shirts, men's, whatever you kind of click what it looks good on there. So it helps to be, helps the searchability of it. And I want to kind of clean up this UI a little bit. I'd like to make it a little bit more friend, user friendly, but then what will happen is your images will show up in the design marketplace for everybody. And then they can also search them by your name. So if you get a bunch of fans, you can search them by your name. So we think this will be great for all of us sellers who want to, that don't do artwork, but it'll also be great for artists. And so we're also going to create a separate landing page and a, and a marketing page, so to speak, where we just tell people, hey, you know, join our design marketplace for free and buy designs. So maybe they have a Shopify store. Maybe they have an Etsy store. Maybe they're doing Amazon merch. Maybe they're doing something else. Um, they might want to come in here and buy designs. And then they go, hey, what is this launch cart, by the way? And then they'll check out launch cart and they'll switch over. <laughs> so uh, pretty cool stuff. So make sure you just look through here for the all over designs. The bigger these 1800 by 1800, like again, they work for certain things, but not for everything. We want, we want really, really big, big, big images. The bigger, the best. Is there a way? Let me do. I guess there's no way to search by size, huh? See, we, we have to keep adding I've different, seen, yeah. different things, right? If I search by 300 DPI, I wonder what comes up there. Yeah, I've used the search primarily to search for the keywords. Right. Oh, somebody needs to put those um, Day of the Dead um, skulls on some leggings and get those out there immediately. <laughs> Halloween, baby. These are great for Halloween hats, Halloween shirts. And, and again, I was just trying to look up. Have you guys ever seen like a polo team? A polo team... Uh, I don't see them in here. I'm going to see polo team. Uh, 
like this, like these, these, these kind of shirts. So these kind of shirts where they're all over print and they, you, you get to do a great design and then you got your logo on them and then you got the polo pores. Soccer teams, like, like professional soccer teams, professional polo teams, you can do that with uh, these print, these all over shirts with these going back to your collections and your, uh, you know, these all yep. over shirts, you can just do so, this cool designs with the rash guards and uh, right. all kinds of stuff. Right. Um, now let me ask you a question. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't know. Is, is, is these flip flops, can you do all over flip flops? We'll do the whole over the whole thing. It I don't know. I've never, the, done a, I've never made sole. a flip flop. Yeah. It prints on the, the white sole. Oh yeah. There we go. You could do the left foot, right foot. You could have different ones. I think. Yeah. See, that's so cool. I like that. So cool. Okay, cool. So do we have any questions out there? Any questions on the all over print? Uh, I want to see if you guys have any questions. I'm checking on the Facebook page. Um, and you know, I like the all over prints just because they're unique and they're different. And I like the all over prints and I was going to create some for this store next. I don't have any on this store, but we're going to create some for this store. And I just like them for the, the hoodies because we're coming into hoodie season. So you're going to sell a lot of hoodies, a lot of sweatshirts. You know, the ugly sweater season is coming. I wonder if we have any ugly sweaters. Hold on a sec. You're breaking up. I didn't hear. I, I'm not, we're not hearing you. Sorry. Oh, uh, we have one ugly predator, uh, one ugly sweater, and it's even free. Go get it. So we, now you can have an ugly sweater. I'm going to go create one. Let's see here. Create new print on demand products. Uh, women's sweatshirts. All over print sweatshirt. So I see Lucy's on and listening in Facebook. And uh, oh, that's Michael. Our, our Michael is. Michael's on? Mm hmm. He needs to go click that and he go click that thing, Michael, to uh, to uh, give StreamYard access to your Facebook so we can see your name, and your photo. Somebody said, <laughs> "Did you show? Did you show how they can find the size of exact graphic you need?" And. Um, Greg, so go over to uh, Printful, and on every specific product, it will um, tell you. Let me see if I can go there and share my screen. I'm making a super ugly sweater. <laughs> Let's see. Look at that. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do this one. Check this out. This is like a super ugly space sweater with cats. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wait, you guys aren't even seeing it. Hold on. There we go. Look what I made. So it's got the arms with the with the space scene. It's got the cats in the in the stockings. Super cool. Because you can do each arm, you can do the back, you can do the front, you can do some really ugly stuff. So the ugly sweater is going. Yeah, thanks for telling me. I I, I needed that. <laughs> uh. Okay, so you were gonna share how how do we look for size? Where where do we look for size? What are we looking for? I sorry, I got I got on a, I got on a. I, it's <laughs> That's just, okay. It's just it's just fun to create products. I, I like <laughs> playing with this. I really do. Right. So just uh, go over, uh, pick up, go add a product. Go to add a product. Just click on any of those shirts there. Uh, like a long sleeve t shirt or something. That's this time of year. We need long sleeve shirts and then what we want to what um mike was talking about is 
that one of the things you want to do is look at the product. So click, just click on that one on the left, unisex, fine jersey, long sleeve shirt. And then once you're there on the top left, click on where it says product. Oh, right and here. then click on product info pricing and then print file templates. Now go up print file templates. This is where it tells you the print size that it wants for each part of that particular product. And I was showing Mike um, that when you're creating your graphics to put on your products, um, you're going to want to create a canvas that's, for example, 12 inches by 16 inches. And Printful wants these uh, sizes in inches, not necessarily pixels. So in any graphics program, when you're creating, you can set it to inches, you can set it to pixels and a, a couple other uh, different size variations. But when, when Greg was making that product and it was telling him that his file wasn't big enough, this is what they meant. They, they wanted some uh, a graphic file that was actually 12 by 16 to be uploaded to put on this shirt so that it looks good when they print it in that large center area. And so if you yeah. go to like the swimwear collection and it tells you, you know, what kind of um, size that you need, it's interesting because Printful tells you that they want um, graphics in inches, not pixels. Hey, check this out. This is brand new. Look at this. I, Printful told me they were going to do this. I said, you're going to compete with us. But they just launched, look at this. Um, they just launched their own design marketplace. So when you're, when you're in, you hit premium images, and look at this. It pulls up a whole library of, of, of design images they're selling for a dollar. So well, is it, is, it a dollar, is it a dollar one time or every time you sell that product? One time. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, they're just charging you a dollar for the, 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 the image. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's the case. When I was told about our design marketplace, they, they said, what? Can we see your design marketplace? So we showed them our design marketplace. They, they said, you know, we're creating a design marketplace. I said, you can't. I already have one. <laughs> so, but, you know, they, they want, it's going to help them make more sales and make more products. So it's good. It's just good for everybody. And the other thing is, I didn't see it on this one. Let me. Let me cut out here. I you, normally sometimes if you just go. Let me see if, if I can find that one. Uh, I'm just gonna click on one of these shirts. Sometimes when you go to design, I guess it's just new premium. Yeah, see, this is all new. And I wonder if you buy it once or if you, or maybe you just use it on that one product. I don't know. This is brand new. I don't even think I haven't seen an email about this. I haven't seen an announcement about it. I don't know anything about this. So. Yeah, I've been seeing that premium image box right there for about a week or so. Have you? I didn't even notice it. Because it used to be sample. It used to say sample images or, you know, or something mm -hmm. like that. And, right. and they had some pretty decent designs that you could get from there. Um, and then, again, I don't know if you've seen this, but they have this, some designs here. But that's really good to know. So they got some oh, premium no, ours are, ours images are better. there. <laughs> yeah, ours are, ours are better. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got photos. That's different. See, and we could put, start putting photos in. But what are you going to do with photos? Like, it doesn't look like it's big enough for an all-over print anyway. Let me see. I'm going to go to it. Well, anyway, you guys can all play with it. If you have any questions, uh, somebody says here they've been using it but for a month now. See, I'm falling asleep at the wheel. You guys got to let me know this stuff. Say, writer, you got to tag me. Say, writer, Greg, look what's going on over here. Oh, is that Candace that's on here? Uh, I don't know. As Candace says, maybe that's her. All right, cool. Any other questions out there? Any questions? Last call for questions. And just a reminder, um, everybody, anybody who wants their store reviewed, please uh, post on the hot seat 
Facebook post that you'd like Greg to take a look at your store tomorrow. Hey, check this out too. So, so look at this. Um, I'm not sure who this is, but they said a lot of shirts sell with just with a photo on it. And it's like, that's, a, I, I didn't really, I, I've never sold shirts with photos on them ever. And so I'm like, okay, that's a cool idea. And, but then another cool idea would be like, what if you had a photo of Colorado like let's say um, Aspen, Colorado, there's a place called Maroon Bells, real famous photo. Now, again, you have to buy the photo or have your own photo. Uh, but if you made a shirt like that and, you, and then you put some sayings on, like I just came back from Colorado or right. San Diego just came back from the beach or you made some words to go with the photo. Yeah, and then ski, you could talk to people. Ski bum, you could, ski bum, been there. Been here. Yeah, no. You you, you could there. you could target you could target people that were like in the area or you know in that area, and maybe maybe by and because I'm always thinking about how do you advertise to them? How do you how do you get in front of the right target audience? Yeah, you so, go comment on the Facebook groups that are for those ski sites. Yep. Yep. Okie dokie. Are you guys ready for some Facebook advertising training? Facebook advertising training, anybody? Um, I think that's what I'm going to do next week. Facebook advertising training. Anybody have any interest in that? I hope I see. Yep, I see one yes. One yes out of five. That's not too bad. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another yes. Okay. Always need help with that. There's another one. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of do some stuff like this, and we're gonna get some Facebook training and start showing, you know, what interests dog lover and dogs plus Petco plus PetSmart, and you're gonna target stuff like um, Petco. Did different targeting. Let me go to a different one. Oh, these things are selling like crazy right now. Just this, this stupid Donald Trump mugs. Uh, and then we're targeting Donald Trump for president, Donald Trump Jr. Of course, you have to have a political approval for doing that kind of stuff. But we're going to start showing you guys how to advertise for daughter daughter markets. Like, here's one. I love my daughter. To my daughter, I may not be perfect. But when I look at you, I know I got something perfectly right. Love, Dad. And look, we're going to target 38, 30 to 65-year-old men, parents with adult children. So we're going to show you how to do the targeting. We're going to show you some different designs and coffee mugs. This is coffee mug season. So this is coming. We're going to get this. And we're going to start showing you guys how to do this. Looks great. Candace says she never got asked by StreamYard to share my name or photo. So Candace, right where you're watching us, you're in the group, I think. Above the group, above this image, there's a little thing that says, I'm going to be streaming in StreamYard. Please click this link to give StreamYard access. Do you see that? Tell me if you see that. Because if yeah, not, I'm going to show you. I, I saw that Lucy's on also, but has, and she's one of our Facebook users in the StreamYard um, comments. And then Candace is the other one. Jose has got it because he clicked the link and we can see Jose is... Uh, is on our StreamYard co uh, comments uh, flow. Oh, I was watching it from your personal page. Then she went to the group. Oh. You know, and I'm looking at I'm looking at the video in the group right here, and, and this is the first time I've not seen the StreamYard text right there. It usually shows up right above the video. It's weird. Right, it's not on the, this one to click on. I don't understand that. All See, right, it's well, normally I, so. <laughs> scroll down, Candace, to the next video, and then it says it in the video with Lane that was uh, yesterday's, and then you click on this StreamYard slash Facebook. And then it gives us permission, and then your name will show up. Yeah, it's on yesterday's. Yeah, it's on yesterday's and the day before. That's weird. I must have checked some box not to post that. I don't know. Oh, well. 
Okay, you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do a, a joint training where I know how you can show me how to set these up, and we look for that checkbox. Oh yeah, good idea. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's do that next. Let's let, let we'll stay on and we'll do that real quick. All right, everybody. Well, I don't see any more questions coming in, so it is five thirty-five, and it's time to get back to work. So I want to say thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. We hope you like what we're doing. We want to help you get going. We want sales to increase. We want to help you get your first sale. If you have not ordered samples, go into your Printful account, order some samples. I just got this sample, and, and this is my son's brand, and it's beautiful. I love it. I just love this design. I love this gold. I love the shading. Uh, I love this Bella. It's a real lightweight, real soft uh, Bella T. It's awesome. And you can do, you can get a discount on your samples, but you can only order one order a month with three, with three products. So make sure you get your samples and order them. And then that way you can make if, your own photo you get, shoots and do your own stuff. Yeah. If you get sales, you can order more samples. Oh yeah. Good. There's different levels, but yeah, if you start making sales, you can order more samples based on your uh, sales volume on Printful. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. This is Greg and Lane signing off. Do what we do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and tell somebody you love them.